raz. Serdecznie witam wszystkich. Mam ogromny zaszczyt powitać Państwa na naszej pierwszej edycji Presta Shop Day w Polsce. Zanim zaczniemy konferencje i workshopy, chcemy Państwu przedstawić wideo, które zrealizowaliśmy po polsku, żeby przedstawić nasz zespół Presta Shop, który jest obecny dzisiaj na miejscu, a następnie nasz prezes z naszym produkt managerem opowiedzą o aktualnej strategii Presta Shop. Życzę wszystkim udanego Presta Shop Day. Nazywam się Asman, jestem event managerem w PrestaShop. Cieszę się, że mogę powitać Państwa na tej pierwszej edycji PrestaShop w Polsce. Jeśli macie jakiekolwiek pytania, to jestem do Waszej dyspozycji. Ale odpowiem po angielsku, bo nie trudno zgadnąć, że nie znam polskiego. Serdecznie witam Was. Nazywam się Aleksandra Wimi. I jestem dyrektorem generalnym PrestaShop. Jest mi bardzo miło spotkać się z Państwem na naszym pierwszym PrestaShop Day w Polsce. Jesteśmy tu po to, by pomóc Wam w odniesieniu sukcesu w Waszym biznesie online. Witam wszystkich. Nazywam się Kasia i jestem senior partner managerem w PrestaShop. Polką mieszkającą od 20 lat we Francji. Mamy dzisiaj dla Państwa w programie konferencje tematyczne, workshopy i stoiska, gdzie będziecie mogli porozmawiać z naszymi ekspertami z różnych branż. A ja ze swej strony chętnie odpowiem na Wasze wszystkie pytania. Witam Was, nazywam się Romain i jestem international business developer. Nazywam się Colin i jestem project manager w PrestaShop. Nazywam się Julien i jestem head of communication w PrestaShop. Dzisiaj jesteśmy tu dla Was. Chętnie pomożemy Wam. Mi wygodnie. Serdecznie witam Was. Well, sorry. So we try to uh, to do it in Polish for the video, but for for the keynotes, I'm sorry, it will be in English. Uh, but I know what it means. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We are very happy and uh, proud to be here with you today. It's it's kind of a special day for us, and I hope it will be also for you because it's the first time we gather the community, PrestaShop community, here in Poland for PrestaShop Day. It's a first. First PrestaShop Day outside, outside France, outside Spain and Italy. The fourth one is here in Poland, in Warsaw. And I want an applause for that. <laughs> and for, for the first edition, we've, ch we've chosen a special also place. A place which means something for you guys, because it's a department store. It's a place where we used to sell products here at PrestaShop Day. And when I'm speaking about you, I'm speaking about you as merchants. And you are more than 20,000 merchants here in Poland selling and using PrestaShop software every day. I'm also speaking about you developers working for merchants, working for agencies as freelancers, using the code to improve and develop websites for those merchants. I'm speaking about those guys contributing to the code, to the add-ons marketplace with new features to improve the software, and also to partners providing shipping, payment, marketing solutions, hosting solutions, services to you merchants to improve and ease your way to sell and make profits online. And it's a special day, and it's also a first day, so I want to start today with PrestaShop mission. Why do we work at PrestaShop? We work for you. 
we work to enable anybody in any country to start an online store and develop its sales with success. What does it mean? It means that it's our role to ease your way to onboard online, to ease your way to start your online business with a software with, which is quite easy to use and then with different solutions to make you more productive and focus on your sales. It's also our role to ensure that you can develop online and make it a successful business. So the first part of the role is to help you on board from one to one million zloty, for instance. And the second part of the role is to help you reach 10, 100 million zlotys. And that's what we, why we are here, why we are with you, why we have launched this project, this PrestaShop project. I'm speaking about development, I'm speaking about sales, and sales are, of course, coming from your customers. And for that, I want to start with some questions about your customers. The first question is, who are they? Who are your customers? Are they here in Warsaw, in Poland? Are they also in other Eastern Europe countries? Do you sell also to French people, to Chinese people, to Mexican people? That's a question for your development. International is key, and internet and e-commerce is the fact that you can sell to foreign people, not only in Poland, but also outside Poland. Who are your customers? Are they only individuals? Or are they also professionals? Let's take an example. You are a fashion brand. You have a store, maybe also a physical store, but at least an online store. And you are selling products online. The cloth is online. But maybe you also want to do some wholesale. To want to, you want to sell to professionals, to retailers with online stores. And maybe you want them to buy your products online. That's what we call B2B, business to business. And that's also something you should have in mind because there is a huge growth for online business towards professionals. <coughs> The second question is, where do you sell? PrestaShop is great. PrestaShop is providing you a storefront. But PrestaShop is also enabling you to connect to marketplaces. And here in Poland, you have the, the chance to have your own marketplace as a key leader. Allego. It's also interesting for you maybe to sell on other marketplaces, such as eBay, or maybe also marketplaces in other countries, and address Amazon countries, for instance. But when I speak about marketplaces, I also want to speak about social networks. Social networks used to be places for discovery, and it's still, it's still the case. You can find, discover new products, new services as a customer, And you, as retailers, as merchants, you can push all your offer on those um, platforms with pictures, with videos, with comments. That's great. But they're also more and more becoming place for purchase, place where your customers will purchase your products. And that's really important for you to know that and to understand that those guys, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, will more and more play as marketplaces. The last question is, how do you get access to your customers? That's obvious that mobile is becoming more and more important in our lives as customers. And so you as merchants, you need to be there. You need to be on that device with your website, with your storefront for discovery, of course, in the user journey towards your products, your offer, but also more and more to have your customer purchase on mobile. A few years ago, Google talked about the mobile moment, when more than half of the queries on Google will be on mobile. Now we are in this moment. And in a few years, and it's already the case in China, for instance, most of the sales are done on mobile. And so you need to be ready for that. You need to be prepared and have your website mobile friendly develop new technologies, potentially apps also, depending on your categories and your business, 
but that's where you need to, to be. And that's based on those insights from your customers that we have derived and defined our roadmap with four dimensions. The first one is international. International, as I said, is key for your development. And PrestaShop is part of the leading platforms to help you sell abroad. Why? Because we're not only based and, and uh, developed in Poland. Yes, of course, you can hear from my accent that I'm from France, so, and it's a French software at first, but then we have been developing and we are number one in Europe, thanks to you guys here, thanks to the base also, the store base active in Poland. But we have done that thanks to localization. And on PrestaShop, you can find the right payment methods, the right shipping solutions to help you sell on each and every country, and especially in Europe, so that you can localize. You can localize also through the translations of the front and the back office, and we will ease this localization more and more with an improved management of taxes, improved management of currencies and translations, so that you can be also and feel local in other countries. The second dimension is social network. And so in the few weeks, we will launch what we call a buy button. It means that you will be able, as a customer, or your customers will be able to see products, to see your offer on social networks, on YouTube videos, on Instagram pictures, and click on buy buttons so that they can add those products directly in their basket and finalize the purchase on your website. That's the first step for social network as marketplaces. Second step will be further integration so that they can directly buy and purchase and finalize the purchase on, or, um, on the social networks. And that's what we are working on with Facebook and Instagram for the Instagram integration. Third dimension is mobile. First, we were willing to improve your own mobile experience. At last, we have made PrestaShop 100% mobile responsive, so that you can change the product pages, the catalog, directly from your mobile. But of course, the objective is to help you sell more and be present on mobile towards your customers and we have launched also our roadmap for mobile experience on the website, not only having a mobile responsive website on PrestaShop, but also providing you the, the right tools to develop what we call progressive web apps. It means new web technologies for mobile. That concretely, it means that you will be, your customers will be able to save your website with an icon on their homepage on their mobile, like an app. You will be able to push notifications to them, also like an app. You will be able, they will be able to connect to their member accounts also with the login from their mobile. It will be eased and so that it won't only be a discovery platform, but more and more a purchasing device. And conversion will raise on mobile. So think about that, progressive web apps, and they will come in a few months on PrestaShop. Last dimension is trust. E-commerce has been developing thanks to trust. First, it was coming thanks to payments methods, and it's still the case. You will hear about fraud, and there are some guys here also providing you solutions to, um, to address this issue, either payments, marketing, but now the question is about personal data. And you've seen that la late in May this year, the EU has launched GDPR, and it's key for your personal data management. So you can provide trust to your customers if you abide by the law, abide by the regulations, and you implement the right GDPR tools to ensure that personal data of your customers are safe. And I think it's just the start for a never-ending story with the EU, with new regulations around personal data, 
And of course, we will keep you updated and provide you with the right tools to tackle this stake, personal data, and trust. So that's for 2018, the next months, and the start of 2019. What about the next years? The next, well, and before the next years, the next months, um, apart from the four key dimensions, we are also working hard to improve your experience as user, to focus you on your sales. What is your business? Is your business, and I'm speaking to merchants mainly now, your business is to sell. Your business is to build the right catalog and then to market it, to push it to your customers, to develop your customer base. And we want to ease your experience on PrestaShop, ease the fact that you can migrate from the former 1.6 version to the 1.7 version. And by the way, we will communicate on that. 1.6 will continue till, to be maintained by PrestaShop till Q2 next year, end of June next year, not this month. And we want to provide you the best experience for the migration from 1.6 to 1.7. Also improve your experience to uh, modify the homepage. Improve your experience and the robustness and the performance of the software with the migration on Symfony framework. That's more for the developers, but it's key for the robustness of the, uh, of the software and so that you can really focus on your sales. For the years to come, I was speaking about the place where we can find your products. And maybe some of you have already offline stores. So we want to harmonize and unify online and offline. And so that it will ease your integration if you have already online st uh, offline stores so that PrestaShop can be the cockpit of your sales. And there are also many pure players starting with a website, now opening web, uh, offline stores um, to, to sell their products. And we want also PrestaShop to help you to do so. And when I'm speaking about PrestaShop, I mean the full ecosystem. We won't be the one providing you a POS system, but we will be the one eating the implementation and integration of POS, of point of, point of sale uh, system, to get the payments in your offline store. The second point is about B2B. I mentioned that before. So a new type of customers. You can already sell to professionals on PrestaShop, and there are modules to do so. You have your developers to work on that environment. Of course, we want to ease that in the 1.7 version so that you can increase your sales towards professionals. That, that's part of the um, early 2019 roadmap. And last but not least, we'll continue to improve your experience, the performance of the software, so that you sell and you don't think about the software. So, I think you've uh, understood what I meant all over my, my speech. Our mission is your development, your sales. Jane Couillet. Dzień dobry. Nazywam się Colin i jestem project managerem w PrestaShop. I mam zaszczyt być dziś tutaj z wami. Um, I've been working at PrestaShop for the last four years, and I had the chance to work in uh, different services, but what has always struck me is the power and strength of the PrestaShop community. Uh, I've started working in the add-ons marketplace team. Um, I was working with thousands of merchants all around the world with very different needs, very different activities, but I was also working with uh, developers and contributors who were working hard to um, have those merchants succeed in their activities. And now I'm in the product team working uh, for the software itself, and I'm also very uh, surprised and glad to see the, the energy of the community as we are working with translators, developers, contributors to the core agencies and partners, and all of them are working very hard and they collaborate with us to build an always better software. 
and to help merchants succeed in their business and satisfy their own customers. So actually together we are more than one million working every day to help those merchants. So congratulations to you. We really want to thank you for your work, your time, and your dedication to this project. I was talking about add-ons right before, um, and I'm sure some of our team and module developers are around you today. Um, we want to congratulate you as you reach one million sales on add-ons. One million sales actually means one million merchant needs that you answered. So congratulations to all of the contributors. Now, let me just focus a bit on our role in the product team. Our role is, of course, to build an e-commerce software which is easy to use, but which will, which will also be satisfying for every merchant. But it's, it's not an easy task, as we have so many, as I was saying, we have so many different merchants with different needs. So this is why when we develop a new project and we focus on a new feature, we ask ourselves, who will be impacted by the feature we want to develop? Who, which type of user will, be, will it affect? Uh, is it a new merchant? Is it an e-commerce expert? Is it an open source um, lover? Is it a developer? Every time we try to focus on that question, and for each version, we add optimizations for all of these merchants. We really want to move forward together and to be at the same pace every time. Um, <clears throat> of course, if we want you to move with us, you need to be aware of what is on our roadmap. What are the next projects we want to focus on? This is why our roadmap is now public and available on GitHub. You can access it, you can follow it, and you can see where we stand on each development. The projects we have already done, the projects with, we are, which are sorry, in uh, progress, and the next projects with, which are still under consideration. So let me show you a bit ago, some examples. So on the right column, you can see um, what has already been done for the 1.7.4. So I'm sure all of you know this version already, so I'm not going to talk about it. But let's focus on the central column. This is some features that we want to release with the 1.7.5, which will be available in the next few weeks. So if I take an example, <coughs> an example sorry, um, the, um, with the 1.7.5, you will be able to edit your specific prices. This is something that a lot of merchants told us that was important for them, as they edit, they want to use specific prices every day. And Today it's not possible. You, you can create a new specific price, then remove it when you don't need it, and then create new ones. So it can be a bit, a bit time consuming. So with the 1.7.5 version, you will be able to edit specific prices, and uh, you will save a lot of time on your work. Another example is the possibility to um, locate your stock. So next time with the 1.7.5, you will be able to add the location of your stock and find them more easily. Now you can see the next projects, which are still under consideration. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, big topics like multi-store, B2B, mobile. And this is where we need you. We need your expertise on, this, on these topics. So please give us your feedback if you have any expertise on, on one topic. We want, we want to learn from your knowledge. So, of course, to get your suggestions, we need to empower you. This is why we have created new tools to uh, help you make those suggestions. The first one is feedback. Feedback.prestation.com is a platform where you can actually write down your ID, which seem to you important to uh, improve the software. So, it's available on the 1.7 dashboard. You can just click on the link, write down your ID, and then you can also vote for other IDs of people. This is a platform that, that is really helping us to prioritize our projects. So feel free to use it every time you have a new idea. The second one is the user club. We also need user testers um, to be able to be sure that the features we develop uh, really meet the needs of your merchants, of your needs. So those two tools are really essential for us to be sure that the roadmap we have really fits the needs uh, of your merchants of, or your, your um, needs. Um, 
So finally, I have a great news as uh, the 1.7.5 I was talking about is going to be released in beta version in the next few days. So test it as soon as it is available as uh, we need your feedbacks from this version and we really hope you will enjoy it. Thank you very much and now the final words by Alexander.